Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus and the Shortcuts series. Today I'm going to talk about the History Panel. I'm sure you heard about the History Panel because this is where you can see all your changes that you are doing while you are working in Photoshop, but there's so many hidden features that you might not know about and which can help you a lot when you work. So first of all, where can you find the history panel? If you don't know, you can find it under the window menu history. And it's always good to have it open like this. First of all, also, you should know that you can change the steps available in the history panel. So if you go to the preferences, Photoshop preferences, and you need to go to performance, here you can change the history states. As you can see, I have it set to 100, but you can go all the way up to 1000, or you can change it to one. Basically, this means how many step, uh, steps you have to go back in history. So if you make changes, let's say 10 changes, and uh, after that, the 11th change will remo remove the first step. So you won't be able to make more changes than that. Uh, so it's like the memory of Photoshop. I like to set it to 100, but obviously you need a uh, memory and a stronger computer to be able to handle this, especially if you work with big files. But I prefer to use 100 steps in the history. And as you can see here in the history, we only have one state at the moment, which is open. So the file has been opened and Photoshop already created a snapshot as well, which shows the original state of the file. So that has been created here on the top. Now, let me first of all show you uh, that if I make changes to this image, for example, if I create a new layer, that's already an option here. If I use the, use the brush tool and just draw over this image, that will be saved as a brush tool step. If I draw other lines, it will be all saved into the history panel. If I use any of these steps, I can go back to that step while still keeping the other changes active. So I can still go back and forth between them, but I can easily see all the changes that I've done. Okay, if I go back to, let's say, to the open state or new layer state, and I use my brush tool, now you just concentrate on the history panel. When I let go the brush, you can see that all the other brush strokes, now they are gone. So we can't save those and this one at the same time. So because we went back in time and we made an, a different step, then it will override all uh, the changes after this one. Or actually it was changes before this one in time. It is a fairly simple concept, but there are some things that you should know about. For example, the history brush tool. So uh, let's say I just uh, use this black color here and I'm going to switch to white and I draw over the black one. So as you can see, we overlap these two colors and some places uh, they are uh, overlapping each other. Okay, so if I go back one step, that's only the black line. If I keep it here, it's, it's the white one. And let's just say that I would like to keep part of this white brush stroke but I would like to get rid of some part of it. And because it is this on the same layer, if I use the eraser tool, I will delete the black line as well below it. So what I would like to do is to partially remove the white line, but also keep it on a couple of parts. So let's say I want to remove the white line here, but keep this part here on the left, okay? For that, I need to mark this step before I drew the white line with the history brush marker. So I put that there. Then I need to select the history brush, which is here in the toolbar, make my brush size a bit bigger. And I'm going to draw over this part here. And as you can see, we can redraw the state before that brush, but still keep part of the uh, brush stroke, the white brush stroke. Okay, so that is a really clever way to work. And I can even switch with the marker to the next step to be able to draw back this line. So it's completely flexible. It's like a non-linear editing of our steps in Photoshop. And of course, the more steps you can go back to, the more flexibility you have with your changes in Photoshop.
In the history panel, we have some options which I would like to show you. If you click on the drop down menu here in the history options, we have a couple of features which I prefer to use. First of all, I prefer to use the make layer visibility changes also undoable, which is great. And you will see how it works and also automatically create new snapshots when saving. I use both of these options which are uh, by default are not turned on. So now if I click on OK, you will see if I turn off a layer, the layer visibility be will also be a step in uh, the history panel. If I turn it on again, that's again a step in the history states. If I turn off this layer again, that will be saved into the history panel. So that is really useful because now I can use uh, my keyboard shortcuts to go back and forward and to see these changes several times until I'm happy and I can decide which layers I need. Or maybe when you create a change and you're not sure whether it, it was good, you can always see the layer and see it without and with the layer and then use just the keyboard shortcuts to back and forth in history instead of always turning it on and off here in the layers panel. The other great thing which we added in the history options is the snapshot whenever we save a file uh, the snapshot will be created in the history panel so let's just do that I'm going to press command or control s and as you can see we have a snapshot now of these changes and it even saves the time when I saved it so let's just turn off a couple of layers and save this again and you can see now we can switch back and forth between these stages by just simply selecting the snapshots. I can go back all the way to the beginning, or select the second stage, or select the third stage. So whenever you save, now you will have like a bookmark where you can see the changes that you've made to your design. It is a great way to keep track of your changes. But you should remember that whenever you quit from Photoshop, let's say you saved your file, quit, and open it up again, these snapshots won't be available anymore. They are only there while you are working. Once you close Photoshop, all your history states and snapshots will be deleted. So don't rely on them after closing a file. And that's all what I wanted to show you today about the history panel. I hope you found it useful and I hope you will join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.